top five Unity tips and tricks. Have you ever been working on a project in Unity and needed to open a window to access certain functionalities? Yeah, me neither. But just in case you do, you'll notice that after clicking on a window, it takes a while for it to actually open. I think it's around 5 milliseconds or so, but waiting for these windows to pop up can waste seconds of your time over the years. Which is why I have constructed the most optimal patent pending Unity layout of all time. Bam! By having every Unity window already open at all times, you no longer have to waste seconds opening different windows to access things. You want to edit some components on a game object, hover over the hierarchy, shift space, click, shift space, inspector, shift space, check, bam, easy. Want to add a script to your project, easy, hover over project, uh, where the fuck is the project window? If you don't want the Made with Unity splash screen to play when your game starts up because of the reputation Unity games have, then there is a workaround to hide the fact that your game was made with Unity. The first step is navigating to the splash image settings, second, change the draw mode to all sequential, and the last step is adding a bunch of other game engine logos to the list. Now when you start the game, no one's gonna know which game engine you actually used. Baking lights in Unity is a good way to increase performance for your game, but can take a long time to calculate, especially if you have a large scene. However, in Unity 2018.4 and above, there is now a light mapping setting that allows you to choose your GPU to bake light maps. This may shorten the wait time depending on how fast your GPU is. However, if it still feels slow, I would also suggest closing Crisis. If your game is running slow, you can diagnose the problem by opening the profiler and checking out what processes are taking the longest. In most cases, you'll find that one of your update methods takes a long time to calculate. There are a couple ways to go about fixing this issue, but the fastest and easiest way is just to delete your entire update method. And now if you go back into the editor and play the game, you can see we have a much better frame rate. The Unity Dark theme is perhaps one of the most sought after themes known to mankind. In a world where every user interface has a dark theme option, Unity says, give us $400 a year to unlock a fucking color. Don't tell anybody I told you this, but there is a way to get the dark theme for free. All you have to do is plug in a controller to your PC, press triangle square, triangle square, up, down, northwest, copy the secret code into your browser's search bar, type in your credit card information, click pay now, and bam, you got the Unity Dark theme. 